Let's get to some brand new video just into our newsroom here. Video of the seismograph at the Pacific Northwest Science Seismic Network. This is when the quake hit, everything calm until the seismograph lights up. That right there is the 4.6 quake epicentered around the Monroe area. It was at a depth of about 13 and a half miles, which isn't super deep. It's not super shallow. It's somewhere in between um, ish when you talk about the depth of earthquakes, which is a very important indicator and characteristic of an earthquake. And seismologists use that a lot to determine where the fault line is, possibly what's to come. No reports of major damage, no reports of any injuries, luckily. Let's get to a quick timeline of what we experienced. This is a step-by-step -step moment of what the seismologists are telling us unfolded at about 2 a.m. this morning. So two miles from Monroe, the magnitude 4.6 quake hit at 2.51 in the morning. After that, the aftershocks, 2.53, a 3.5 quake hit, followed by a 1.7 magnitude at 2.56 in the morning, then a nine, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, a, um, a 1.9, call it a 1.9, just a tick before 3 a.m. at 2.59, then a 1.6 quake at 3.28, another small one at 3.46, 3.50, 4.17, 4.24. You get the point. What you're seeing here is an earthquake with a series of aftershocks.